Before I could make use of HDPE, I needed to better understand the strength of this material. Using the sample from my previous video, which you can view here, I came up with this test. I did not attempt to find any scientific or even measurable result, but instead looked for a better working knowledge of this material's strength. Okay, I think I came up with a test. So I got a bolt that fits in there. Okay, I put a washer on it. And we're gonna drill a hole through here and see how much pressure this can hold. So you can see here that this is about just about three quarters of an inch thick. It's not quite uniform all the way across. It's about three quarters of an inch thick. So what I want to do is drill a hole through this wood here. Okay. And I'm going to tighten this in there. And this will go on the other side. Yeah. And I'm not putting a washer on this side. Certainly another test that could be done. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab onto this thing. Again, it is very slick. Grab onto it with this. I'm trying to put as little pressure on there as I can just because I don't want to squeeze the bolt. But the idea here is that we're testing the threads. Let me get a different wrench. Let's go better soon. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to lose at this point. Now we're starting to get tight. You can see the washers, in fact, starting to sink in. We'll back this up, crank it out a little, see what happens. I expect it when I take down the vice grip as I go. Okay, so now that's flush, and this side is starting to deform a little bit. Looks like it's mushroomed out toward the bottom. I'm gonna move the camera. Okay, I think that's a little better angle. Hope we can see this as it goes. That's the other thing. This here, if this does pull out, that nut is not, that bolt is not even all the way into there yet, so. It would have been better had I used a larger, longer nut, but that's what I had. And we're already starting. Definitely deforming because I'm smashing the wood. The wash is still. Pretty tough. I'm pretty sure we're going to split this wood in half before this thing gets out. Almost to the end now, there's maybe an eighth inch so the bolt hits the end of the HDPE plug there. I'm going to start to smash up. Go till something breaks. Totally deformed. 
here we go. Smash them pretty good. You can see the damage to the wood right here. Yeah, that's popped out. And as we come around to the other side, you can see that it's kind of deformed, but it's definitely getting smashed in there. And we've just now got the, the bolt all the way in. Um, also, I'm not squeezing it any harder than I have to. You can see those teeth aren't even really sunk into the, the plastic, so I don't know if that's going to be a good test of this or not, but that's where we're at. Alright, let's keep going. Ratchet with a socket on it. I can reach down and get a hold of it. Man. I have a feeling these cracks are going to just eventually meet in the middle and shoot this thing off. So I'm trying to stand back a little bit when this does go. That point, the head of that bolt is nearly flush with that. Uh, you can see I'm just barely, I bet I could even know I just it. I don't know if that's even necessary. Yep, it's not spinning, so we can go ahead and proceed without that. I might run out of threads on this bolt here shortly. interesting you can see that head of that bolt is just almost flush. See I can come just a little clear it. It's almost completely sunk that in. On that side <laughs> that plug's going right into the wood. So either the wood's gonna give or I'm gonna run out of threads. Point. So maybe we'll try this again. Oh, something slipped. Okay, pull the threads out of it. Let's see. Yep. Out of threads. Okay, so let's take a look at what happened here. So, turns out the failure was the plastic, if you call that a failure. If you ask me, if it can pull the head of a bolt in with a washer that deep into this chunk of wood while pulling itself in there deep, um, that's not a failure in my book. That's pretty impressive for, for a piece of recycled plastic. All right, so let's take it apart. Okay. 
Definitely not quite centered anymore. So you can see it's it's kind of oblong. And I can see there's threads torn out in there. I'm surprised it has threads in any way. And maybe, maybe people who do this know that this is how it was going to turn out, but I'm completely surprised by this result. Look at that. Well, it may have been out of threads. It was pretty close if it wasn't there. Let's see if we can shove that back here and get a comparison. I think this was in that far. So I had about 3 sixteenths sticking out there. Man. If I put 3 sixteenths, yeah. So I still had thread to go. I didn't hit into the shoulder of the bolt, but uh, impressive. Here's what the wood looks like. Look up close, you can definitely see it's crushed. Uh, drove that washer in pretty far. And that's where the HDPE threaded insert, threaded plug was. So that's a pretty good squeeze. I don't know how much uh, pressure that is, but more than I would have expected. All right, one other thing I just discovered as I'm looking at this. I don't know if this was a brand new washer when I put it on, but I think that damage happened. Not only that, but it's definitely cupped and bent. Which, looking at the wood, you can probably tell that was going to happen, but even the metal was failing.